In this video, let's take a quick look at the concept of how pattern-based curtain panel families work. Um, you apply them to a divided surface within the massing environment. So I'm just going to quickly make a new family, and that's going to be a curtain panel pattern-based. And I'm going to go through all the techniques uh, in the later video on how to make this specifically. But in this case, I just want to show kind of how it works. You've got a template here that you can modify uh, for the different types of panels you want to put on here. And what I'm going to do is just create a basic frame panel. Within this environment, I can start to define and make my panel. So here I'll just use the modeling operations that are standard in the conceptual massing environment. and I'll just go ahead and click create form and I'm going to get my options. I'll switch this over to shaded with edges so we can see it a little better. So I've got this panel pretty much defined and I didn't set any parameters. I'm just keeping it really simple right now and I'm working within this panel environment. And I'll just add some materials to my panel so we can see it. And now my panel is pretty much set. If I were to save it out and give it a name, then that's the name it would have when it goes into the project. But I'm just going to be quick here and go ahead and load it into the project. And I've got a couple different files open. So it's going to ask me where I want to send it. So I'm going to send it over to towermass.rfa. And we'll come back over to a 3D view here. And now when I select the surface, if I go over to my properties, under the rhomboids, because that's the template I was using, I've got family 2 as a potential option. So I'll click that and it's going to think for a second there and it's applied that new panel I just made onto the surface and you can see the glass is kind of thin and it's there. Uh, it's very transparent but I could do the same for this face. So the way it works is you create a divided surface to host the panel and then within the pattern based curtain panel family template you build all the complexity for your panels and then within back in the mass environment you can instantiate it or propagate it along the surface so in the technique videos we'll go through all the steps of how you make your panel uh, and how you can start to add parameters to it and start to do some really neat things with it but hopefully that covers the concepts before you jump in